day, everybody. Hans here, and welcome back to another episode of our Endless Space 2 Let's Play. Well, more like a tutorial walkthrough. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget to yield your screen. Last episode, we had our first election and how elections work. We also had our first space battle, so yay. Um, we have changed the pacifist out because we build uh, dust generating constructions, trade fleets, engage in friendly diplomacy, encountering civilizations, owning marketplace. Why not with science, industry, and pacifism? So eh, we'll switch and try to get more industrious industry going. If you click this button, you can change your government. It requires their approval rating and influence. So right now we're a federation. But we can go to democracy, a dictatorship, or a republic. Each one, of course, has their own benefits. We can have one with the federation. It's sled political representative to two. Plus one system before overcolonization. Penalty per hero supporting a leading political party. And minus 20% system development luxury cost on empire. This is great to start off the game. You might ask why. Well, it's a system development. It lets you get level 2 much quicker. So Federation is good in the beginning, but over time you really want to take over either Democracy, which has slut political representatives to 3, an extra law, 1 happiness per citizen, and a plus 1 law on Senate. Quite, you get a lot of benefits from being a democracy. A lot of good benefits. A democ dictatorship, skill effect, set political representation to two. Now, the one interesting thing about Federation, this is new. The one system before penalty per, per hero supporting a leading political party. It used to be a plus one system before over colonization penalty per hero. That was it, per hero. So they nerfed a federation quite a bit. So why you don't want to stay in it long term? Have it for the first, I would say, 50 turns. And then switch over to democracy, republic, or a dictatorship. Actually, no, you don't want to be a dictatorship. You want to be a democracy or a republic. You really want to switch to those three. Right now, we're set. We are good. We're going to Astro Finances to get some money. Then we'll be switching to the new ships type so we can see them. Rigel becomes a colony very, very soon. Traders reach 17 turns. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Ooh, we could do this. Which is 100% food, so right now it's 14. It'll, I think, double. Not sent to outpost, it'll just double itself. Let's click this. We have the money. Yep, and that's a 28 food. It's going to take 9 turns now. Very, very nice. And we can end our turn. Jandar lost a lot of its population because it's sending its food to the colonies, but it will be back up very soon. We are losing quite a bit of dust, but with astral finances, it will come back up. Alright, so we can hack the auto droids and steal some of the pirate lair's resources. We can eavesdrop, falsify logs, sabotage supplies. Let's hack the android, auto droids. Okay. And we got some loot. So we got some super spuds. And be the first to control four star systems in the same constellation. Unknown Empire has taken that deed. And that is A-OK. -okay. And we got super spuds. There's the farms. Now we're building the settler. We are still losing three p food a turn because the outpost. You know what? Let's actually get supermarkets. Let's switch this up just a little bit. Just a little bit because we don't need a settler just yet. We actually do not need that settler just yet. 
because we still have Rigel. I really want to get Rigel up and going and then go to Polaris. And of course we will do Polaris too first because that's the treat of the worlds. That's a lot of food and that'll be a quick system. We are guarding Hydrus. It's losing four manpower a turn. Pretty low. We don't have that much manpower. We could build a few def more defenders, but since we will have Jandar very soon, well, not Jandar, uh, Jandar producing military ships, we can wait. And we almost have the Mark 180 under our control. Hacking operation left. That's fine. Can't really hack anything. Oh, hello. There's Shuragon. Alright. Your ship came out of nowhere like you're stealthed. Like, seriously, where the heck did you come from? You must be around Polaris. But interesting that we didn't find. Yep. That, since Rigel's going to turn, it just has a food sitting because the system is full. We are going to pop the anomaly. Of the medium hot gas. We found li the life pods away tactic. So we found a battle tactic yet. So popping anomalies is a very good. Oh my. There's antimatter here. Someone already popped that. But if we want to go to the military, open. Life pods away. 50% of the lost crew return to the Empire on fleet. So that's very nice if you think you're going to lose a battle. Rigel has full food, so yep, it's going to become a turn, uh, colony. And it's gained a lot of food for early growth, which is nice. And we did gain our population. I should gain our population very, very quickly because we don't need... To supply an outpost. Infant supermarket. We could harvest a guardian. So there's a guardian here now. We got free population thanks to the tree guys. They dropped off a guardian. But the guardian is an extra body, basically. That also gives us plus 20 influence if owner is friendly with factions having guardians. And minus 20 influence if owner is enemy of factions having guardians. They do plus 200 damage done to attacker during ground battle and plus 5 happiness. So we got a, quite a bit of happiness thanks to the guardian. It does give us the resources, so yay. So it helps. So thank you for giving us an extra population. We can end our turn. So we have Astro Finances. Now doing the military tech. Outpost is now a colony. Gained a population. Unjandar. Population will grow very quickly. Now you could sacrifice the Guardian. For a lot of happiness. We won't be just yet. But we can. And that's nice. Why? Because it'll give us more food and more influence. If we can get over a certain threshold. But we don't have to just yet. Xeno turns him five turns. And it's quite a bit of money. So we're going to do the infant supermarkets. Just to give us the ten happiness. Just so we don't get too... Our people don't get sad and angry at us. Then we'll do Xeno Tourism for the money. Because we can get a lot of money coming from Jundar too. Because it's the luxury resource. It'll be four dust per. And then we'll get the Settler. All in the same turn. And I want to get a couple more population on Jundar. Rigel. And Rigel can colonize the Baron. For the dust load. Now we're not going to do that just yet. It's very, very expensive. Expensive to colonize and no food. We will go the drone network. 
to start off with because of course we need more food yay but also production we get we're arguing a lot of food per so yay gain from the colony from the planet and some gain sacrifice to manpower and consumption should get in nine turns that'll go up sustainable we not hot we're not cold which is which is fine so this sustainable will be fine on rigel and rigel four and four and five because they're cold but i will want to get the drone networks then of course the xeno industry so that'd be 30 production here but also 40 50 60 seven day production total which is nice which is very, very nice. Now we do have some sterile. So it'll be good to get that sterile. The Harishim there. When we they're both level two, we'll send over the Harishim. And maybe have a Harishim on this planet. Yeah, yeah, hacking, but we don't really can nor want to hack. So we will want to get Nair. Actually, but it's a gas jump. Oh, it's an ash because we want the antimatter. We it has zero food, so that's gonna be very, very scary. But it is hot and sterile, so we'll get at least 10 food from here plant and sterile. Uh, hot and then ooh, internal cult cultivation is 25 food per system level. Which actually wouldn't be too bad on Polaris 3. Because there's already a lot of food coming from here. And Trader's Reach. Yeah, nothing special yet. Could be in the future. We'll end our turn for now. Like, we're already at, almost at turn 30. And we're like, nothing much is happening. How do you know you're going to win? Easy. We're setting ourselves up for success. And that's how. Setting us up for success. Six turns. Yay. Fish and shielding. And then we got to figure out when we unlock the basic system development, what we're going to use to develop our systems. Go happiness or spuds. Or we might want something completely different. We'll find out. Ooh, Dorado has a barren world. They're pretty poor. Everything else. And we found Shergon. Alright, so we found Shergon. So this is their home system, a Boucher. This is telling me something completely different as well. They have a sphere, obviously, around them. There is Corsail. So much food. So much food. But this sphere is telling me there is the AI in here. Go to Diplomacy. There's Shergon. There's also the Rift in here as well. The Rift Hailed. They are here. The Riftborn, not the Rift Hailed. Rift Hailed from League of Legends. The Riftborn are in this because they form these spheres. Like time dimensional stuff. So we should actually own this because we have three star systems. Oh, very soon we'll actually get that plus 15%. Yes, please. Five turns. There should be quite a few food shipments still going. Yes, there is. So that'll be nice. Because that'll boost up Rigel. End our turn. Two turns until we can start our new ships. We definitely want to keep this spirit blockade going to prevent the pirates from 
attacking our civilian shipments. Zendar? Slowly, slowly. We could do the endless perks now. It's a wonder. It'll give us 20 approval for 20 turns. 25 approval for 20 turns. Increases science and dust. Like a lot of science and dust. We will want that eventually. But it is so expensive. 18 turns to build. Well, this is 23. We don't have the production capability. Yes, if we get this, it'll be plus one. We have no strategic resource. Actually, we might still want that, though. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra production. Not too bad. Doesn't hurt us too much. Such so a keep getting remnant. Who do give us extra production. So, and not too bad. Better on. And we might want to build the uh, park on Rigel. Because we will get all. So, right now it's a 7 production. With Intent Plante. It'll be even more. It will give us about 4 extra production per on this system. Or this planet. And this planet can hold quite a bit. We can hold 10 people at 4. That's 40 extra production coming from the people. Whoo! 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 Yes, please. Yes, please. So you really want to min-max your planets for production. Jundar will be more science than anything else. But yeah, you really want to min-max. And our turn. So now we have solo quest. You're back, please. For 10 turns, keep your rival system clear of enemy ships. And we get 30. Not explaining, not reading. If you want to see what that is, just pause it. But we're not going to get into... We could attack this guy. Not going to, but we could. Setting our patrol fleet. To explore the territories. Hey, there's Berus. A tiny little ocean one. So these webs are coming from Bushir, the Unfallen. They have their own special way. Each race has its own way to colonize, to explore, to expand. I definitely recommend checking them all out for fun. And that is what our channel will be looking at over time. It's playing every single race to completion. Why not, Berus? Eh. We definitely will. You know what? Since they're not really expanding too much, which I'm very surprised about, we might will want to just attack them. They have tanks already. Never mind. Never mind. They got tanks. Kind of scary. That's a lot of tech ahead of us. Ooh, baby. Okay. I can operation left unassigned. Oh, fine. You know, let's add encrypt on Rigel and keep Rigel as a good defensive node. Ten turns? Sure. We'll go to Bashir in ten turns. And see if we can get through there. So one turn, and we get the drawn networks. So yay. One turn, three turns for you. Yeah, no, we're still just guarding. So end our turn. Now we have the new ships. And Empire Development, three. Yay. We have more movement and more laws. So we can have plus one law slot. Drone network being built. So this will be great. 
So next July. So the new colonies have extra f- output of food and happiness. One miners plus one resource generation on strategic resource deposits. And plus 10% per strategic deposits on system. Either or will be fine. Now this is 9 influence a turn it costs. This is 18. We produce 34 influence. So we can run either one. Or we can do Toys for Boys or Beast Time. No. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna risk that. This will actually be pretty good. I blah, 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 blah. I don't, we don't need this just yet. So we're going to do the new colony of freedom. And when we finally need strategic resources, because we don't really need it just yet, we'll build that out and have that as the law. But we got our new ships. So we have now... Uh, ooh, alarm's going off. We have our, a true defender and a true attacker. So we'll look at the defender first. And they need to be edited a little bit. So, the escort class. Uh, it has a hull. A size is small. So just one command point. It's a protector. So, primary tar so the role of the ship is to protect and assist other ships in battle. So the support ships, defensive, support, kind of look like that. So cool. So cool. Uh, their primary targets are attacker and hunter ships. Secondary targets, protector and coordinate ships. That means who they will attack first. They have bonuses. So attracts fire from, en from enemy to protect the other ships. So you have at least one of the fleets. So the enemies attack them first. And they're defensive. They have 10% plating. So, because they're going to be attacked, they have more armor. We are fighting against pirates that have sh energy. So, we'll have an extra shield. So, we got two shields. They only move five a turn. I'm going to change out. Oh, it, has, it comes with a basic laser. Oh, that's nice. So, we could go more hull. More shielding because it's defensive. Plating and shielding. But I'm actually going to add in, depending on the attacker. Alright. Alright. So I want to check the attacker first. And we'll, we'll look at the attacker. So the Corvette is the attacker. It's small. So one command point as well. It looks like more of an attacker, obviously. So that's kind of cool looking. Only has one engine. Uh, it focuses, so focus fire from the flotilla to quickly eliminate ships. So you, if you have multiple of these, they'll all focus fire on the one ship at a time. And it's offensive, so 10% more damage on its weapons. It only has a movement speed of 5. And no other place where it can put more movement. Because of that... It's going to be the slowest ship in the fleet. So we had to build around this ship. Now its attack is some basic energy. It has one shield. And can hold extra armor or damage. We can add in actually more damage. And add in some missiles. And look, our lasers are optimal on medium range. Average optimal is long. So you just want to make sure everyone is at the same opt optimal capacity. Or we might add some plasma. Hmm. DPS is lower. But we'll fire each time. You know, I'll do this. So this, I'm doing this because of uh, looks. Why I moved the laser up top. But with it being optimal at three time, three locations, no matter where we are, it will fire and do damage. So we'll do it like this. And then we'll just focus on the lasers at the moment. So the long and sh uh, short got a boost with the basic plasma. 
And then we're very good at medium range. So we'll apply this design on the Corvette. Edit the Escort. So on this space, we could add more movement. But with the 5 being the Corvette, the Escort can't go faster. So we can add in more laser. Or we can add in more armor. In this case, the shield at 700 shield, 30 health, and 120 energy defense. I'm actually going to add in a basic reactive plating to so give us more health. We'll just give us more health, a little bit of projectile defense, but the health is a very, very nice. We currently have 1400 shield, but now we have 310 health as well. So this will be good. And then we're going to add in a Jundar. An order for building. So two Corvettes and one Escort. I like, this is my preferred fleet creation is two attackers to one defense on the lower levels. Ooh, we have a battle of being attacked by some pirates of our patrol. I'm actually going to retreat because we're mostly going to lose this fight. That's fine. Oh my, this is an amazing system. Maze has a forest, a Terran, another Terran, and a large ice. Oh my. Really now? Has a lot of super spuds and maze. Well, high PM. Hmm. We might. We definitely want maze. We definitely want maze. So we we now have an expansion, and that's what you want is an expansion target. Like I want to go to maze. So I got to make sure I can get a fleet there. We also need to clean out this. Hydras. So we have a build order that we will be going for in the long run. Which is good and bad. And it's going to be very painful to get to. But hey, we'll get there. We have the Denrick University. We're going to have it 30, even though we really, really want it. We now know we need some military ships to clean up the pirates. And then go to maze. And our turn. And you can see where we are compared to everyone else. We've fallen behind, but we're still we're ahead of Shergon, which is good since they're our closest neighbors. So we got our settler. Create, and they're going to go to Polaris. And then two turns. We got some money now. Still losing. We are still losing some money. But it's not the worst. And when we get the intergalactic supermarket, it'll go better. We'll be in the positive then. So Dust, you kind of want to be at zero. Or, well, no, you kind of do want to be producing. But the optimal is zero that you have one to one but hey you when you get the buyout you definitely will want more at the end hmm it is but it's four so it's production before hey we'll we'll leave it as is Rigel, you are slowly growing now. 42, 42. Yay, an extra population in one turn. Hmm. This is really losing a lot of dust. Because you don't produce much. So if you ever click this button, you can see all the improvements. So the colony base actually costs 20 dust, but gives us 35 food, 25 production. 2 influence and 10, 10 food goes to manpower. Then we have the drone network. 
So we might want to get Cerebral Reality up as quickly as possible when we get the Atazino Industry. Food, we'll be fine at. Actually, we could rush this for the influence. For you know what we will? That will give us some dust and science as well. And we kind of do need the science. Get at least the military tech. To show, hey, we're doing something for the military. Ah, uh, star system improvements will be nice. Intergalactic supermarket up and going. That's resources. Happiness. Colonize ash. So let's end our turn. And then we'll also have traders reach up. Ooh, next turn. Sweet. That means that will give us the bonus of 15%. Influence production. So the outpost has turned to colony. We have really. Oh, what? That's not an enemy. Ah, oh, that's fine. Kind of annoying. That's not a. That was not an enemy. We had a cold war. Ooh, pirates. You look at diplomacy, you can see your status of a Cold War influence on the enemy. So you have Cold War, War, or Peace. Hopes that your goal is greater harmony. And they don't want peace. So that's fine. They have 58 titanium, so we know what they're producing. They are 10 Chardonks. They're very hammered and cornered, which is good for us. And then Trader's Reach, of course, has grown. Producing some food. Ooh, I didn't zoom in there. Interesting. It doesn't have that much production, actually. Nor dust. So we're going to get the drone networks up. And then we'll go Cerebral Reality. Into. Now, they're not fertile, so we'll only get 20. But Xeno Industry Infrastructure. They're going there, but before we pop that, I will wait the one turn till we get the next population. And then we'll start colonizing again, min-maxing a little bit. Very soon we'll get an extra 50 science. Now we should have control of serpents. Um, you're in the constellation. Interesting. It should be counting, but okay. Fine. Now we are happy, so getting more food and more influence. That should be on everyone, too. Yep, you're happy, so more food and more influence. I will only make three. <laughs> so 10% of that doesn't help too much. But Polaris, next turn, we'll start. End our turn. Alright, so vile statistics. So we can have two ships of 101 offensive power. We can build 103 production in one of your systems. Or hoard and stockpile seven, 743 dust. And we get influence. Dust or titanium. And half a dozen or the other. Let's see. This production's at 143. 143, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50. Denrick University, that would give it to us in 20 turns. 
That would give it to us, but still 20 turns. Well, 26 turns, but 20 I focus. Hmm. Hmm. You're not going to be even close to that. Uh, you would if you were, had a lot of people. So you build our first military. 139 attack. Alright, so you know what? We'll do parade. 20 turns. And I can get another escort in. An escort, uh, Corvette. Got the remnant population. Building the Corvettes. Got the free battle tactics. And now we'll start the settler. And of course we'll go players for the world tree. Ooh, beautiful graphics. And then pop this for dust with 100% extra food. So five turns, we get that. So very, very nice. And we'll end the cut here, guys. I hope you are enjoying. Don't forget that like and that subscribe. Ooh, the pirates are marked. Boucher, so that means the next pirate fleet will be targeting them. We'll explore down this way. Ooh, a lot of pirates. A lot of pirates. But yeah, until next time. Later, alligators. Peace.